Today I will tell you about hardcore. I will tell you why some of us swear by it and why you should try it. Once you do, there is no going back. Do you feel like your games are getting a little stale? Do you not have the same excitement anymore when you jump into a boss fight? Has the open world just become an endless list of chores? This needs to stop now! That you do because you feel like you have to, instead of the fact that you actually enjoy it. There is a cure! That cure is called Hardcore. Often seen by some players as the only way to play. And by most people, as a completely idiotic option that shouldn't be there in the first place. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Well, I'm here to tell you people that you are missing out. The hardcore option goes by many names. Most simply call it hardcore. Some people throw the word permadeath in there. And for you strategy gamers, you use the term Iron Man mode. Like we say here in Sweden, a loved child has many nicknames. And I'm not just talking about Diablo 4 Hardcore, although that will seem like the focus here, because it is what I'm playing at the moment. This goes for all games out there, even the ones that doesn't have the option. The basic principle is, if you die, you lose everything. Character erased, save game gone, you can never go back. You have one chance, finish the game, or go back to the main menu. This is bullshit. Doesn't sound very appealing, does it? <laughs> this is not to be confused by the rogue-like, where you lose some progress, but you pick up some upgrades or something along the way that will help you in the next playthrough. No, this is for strictly hardcore games. Roguelikes are more of the dip your toes in the water, while hardcore permadeath and Iron Man mode is more swim or drown. <laughs> when you're dead, it's just F in the chat, RIP, gone, dead, forever. But why on earth would people check this box when they start to play a game? Especially a new game. What's the point? Let's simulate a normal playthrough. A boss just killed you, beat you into the dirt, wiped the floor with you. <laughs> No worries, there's a checkpoint right around the corner. You realize that you haven't even spent all of your skill points. So you go into the menu, you point out all the things that you need to do. You go, oh, sh I didn't even equip my newest weapon. You probably even had a second monitor on with a stream or a podcast or something going in the background. You think you enjoy it, but you actually sit there and complain a lot. <laughs> People freaking hate video games. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to the boss and you try again and you try again and eventually beat him and you go Huh, all right, nice, that boss was a son of a bitch, but I'm through it. All right, normal scenario. Hardcore scenario. Let's put the fear of death into this situation and see how it changes things. I do not fear death. You come up on a cliffside. You can see the way around the crevasse to a bridge. The bridge leads to a gate that looks like a boss room. I bet it be ready. You have had the side quest of killing a demon that a peasant gave to you him. down in the village. You remember him saying something about this demon burning all of his family in the village Aww. along with it. Your axe is sharpened. You put gems in all of your sockets. Since you heard that little side note about him burning down the village, you make sure that you take the long way around to pick a few extra plants. With these plants, you make yourself a resist fire potion, just in case. You fight the boss, it's a close call. Your resist fire potion makes a difference. And although it's a sweaty battle with your heart rate going up, your hands are sweaty, you take it. First time, boss dead. You feel a real sense of achievement from killing this boss. It feels good in your soul. This boss never got to you. You're the boss. <laughs> Jesus, the recruitment video. <laughs> you see, the fear of death made you pay attention. You made sure that all of your stuff were upgraded. You know your build, you didn't just click on stuff. You paid attention more to what the villagers said because you know there's always tidbits of information. And that is the way it changes your whole experience. It is not just about you losing your character, but the fact that you can 
elevates every element of the game. And this is not just about Diablo. This is equipping your team with the best equipment in XCOM before you go out so you don't lose your soldiers. What is this? What is this <laughs> No saves coming. Iron Man mode on. This is civilization where you actually care about diplomacy. Because you do not want the war with Germany that is right next to you. Because you're already fighting Italy. Just now, in Diablo 4, my latest stream, I will always remember my Care Bear Druid. I made a stupid mistake. I was level 8. I decided I'm gonna go to Skosklen. It's recommended level 10. I can probably do it on 8. Guess what? No, I couldn't. Oh, no. <laughs> I got freaking smacked. I have no idea what to do now. This guy is totally gonna kill me. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> okay, I guess everyone has a good idea of what not to do. Hardcore players <laughs> should know better, but I didn't. And these small memories about the games, not only are they more exciting when I play them, but when I think back to them, I have kind of like my own stories that happened to these characters that I was playing. I'm just telling you this because it makes you appreciate the game. For once in a game, the word retreat is definitely an option. There is an actual fight or flight mode in hardcore and that makes it so that your strategic thinking starts to turn on a little bit. And for you softcore <laughs> players out there, I know your concerns. You're scared about losing all of your progress. That concern is what will drive you to have a better all-around experience with the game. You see, when you play softcore, you're kind of like Doctor Strange. <laughs> Remember when he's gonna fight Thanos with the whole group and he sits down and he meditates and he comes up like, oh, I did a trillion scenarios and this is the only one we win. He was basically fighting a really hard Dark Souls boss. That's what we're doing in video games in softcore. We're just smashing our heads against the wall until something works. When you've been playing hard hardcore and then you go back to playing regular and you see someone who has greater stuff than you, he has more, just more of everything. You know that you can get there. You just need to put in the hours that he has. But when you're playing hardcore and you see someone who has awesome gear and high level, he has come all the way here, and he didn't die once. Freaking respect. You see, everything is more beautiful when you know that it can end. That is just the way it is. And to all you regular players out there, we might look crazy. But all of us other ones, we know what we're doing. They don't understand us, why we're so happy, dying over and over again. If our heroes in the movies would have infinite chances to beat the bad guy, then what's the point of watching the movie? They're gonna win definitely. The gods envy us. They envy us because we're mortal. Because any moment might be our last. Everything's more beautiful because we're doomed. That's all for me for now. I hope you really try it. I can't wait to see if anyone who saw this video switched it up and <laughs> Tell me your stories about uh, your first deaths. I would love to hear them. I want to hear when you got stunned from nowhere and then got one-shotted by some angry boss. <laughs> love those stories. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, poof.